guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you a bunch of my favorite products that I've been talking about a lot lately. None of these should come as a surprise, but a bunch of products that I've really been enjoying lately and how they come together to create a really great foundation routine that looks natural. It's long wearing everything that I look for in a foundation routine. And I'm super excited that this video is sponsored by and in partnership with Clinique. I know I mentioned it in a video recently, but I've been traveling. It's actually right here in front of me with a gift with purchase Clinique travel bag that's upwards of 15 years old that's it's a brand that's very special to me so I'm really excited to chat with you about their new fund foundation launch so let's go ahead and get started so kicking it off with the foundation in question, this is the Clinique Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation with SPF 25. I've seen in the comments a couple of people requesting to review the egg-shaped foundation from Clinique. <laughs> Here we are, it's got a great pump, it comes in a glass bottle and retails for $55 Canadian, comes in 34 shades. And what's special about this and something that I really love to see is kind of the combination of skincare and makeup being brought together. So this has what's called a three serum technology. So it has vitamin C in here, which is great for brightening, hyaluronic acid that's going to be hydrating and plumping and Clinique's dark spot fighting molecule which you've seen in a lot of their serums I know I've talked about some of their serums before that are great for tackling hyperpigmentation and things like that so you're gonna get the you know immediate effect of like a medium to full coverage foundation of tackling anything that you want to on your skin but with continued use over time you're also getting the benefits of the skincare that's in there and the SPF 25 which is really really important if you're tackling skin issues to make sure that you're using SPF SPF it's gonna put that all into one word SPF 25 or SPF to then protect all your good work so enough blabbering I'm gonna pump it out onto my hand did I tell you what shade I have this shade is actually a really great match for me um, WN 94 deep neutral and I'm gonna use a sponge today but you can use whatever you'd like to apply um, it's also fragrance free And like I said, it has a natural matte finish that holds up. So depending on your skin type, um, it might differ based on how you want to prep your skin. But it's a really beautiful finish that I feel like um, oilier skin types will definitely enjoy. But even if you're dry, it'll still work for you. And like all that skincare is great and everything, but if it doesn't actually look good on my skin, then what's, what's the point? <laughs> uh, if I'm being honest. So I think it actually does really look good. It feels super lightweight, probably best for like combination oilier skin types because of like the satin matte finish, but that doesn't mean it's not versatile. If you have a uh, more dry skin type, you may not just not like skip powder on it or something like that. But I haven't had any issues with um, oxidization or anything and I did review this. It was actually a little while back, but I think based on my filming schedule, it probably went up last week. Um, so I did review it with flash photos and things like that if you want some more detailed info. And as you can see, really good shade match, blends out really easily, but still has a little something going on, like it's not a flat color. I think I said it was oil free too, but oil and fragrance free. I know I said fragrance free, so if you have any sensitivities to those types of things, I'm talking way too much. <laughs> okay, it actually blends out quite quickly when you're not talking at the same time. <laughs> and like I said, I'm using a sponge today, but you can use a brush as well. and build coverage, you're going to get different coverages d depending on of course how much product you use but also your tool. So here is just the foundation and of course if you'd like to check it out for yourself if you haven't already I will have it linked down below if you want some more information about it as well if you're trying to determine your shade but let me know if you're curious about that. Now I'm going to move in to concealer. This is a newer one from Rimmel. It's the Multitasker Concealer. It's in the shade Honey and I'm just going to put that under my eyes, pat it out ever so slightly. Just want to let it sit but I want to spread it a bit like that's how concealer works best on me all the time no matter <laughs> who's making it just to keep the coverage and then for my bronzer I figured I would use this while we're on the topic Clinique Sun, Cl Sun Kissed Face Gelé I've been talking about this for a while I just I don't know I think I had a gift card maybe and um I was at the Clinique counter checking out what was up or did I see it on like a list Either way, this is a really great gelé product. It's a liquid kind of bronzer product, but you can mix it into your foundation if you want. You can put it just all over your face and get like an immediate kind of tan, or you can use it like a light liquid bronzery type product. And I'm just using this to add a little more dimension. I'm not contouring or doing anything really intense. It's just um, that I want to add some more definition and bronzeness to my skin. And if we're trying to achieve 
Um, not necessarily like obviously super like we want it to look <laughs> natural, but I am wearing makeup. But I just really love this product, and I think it would be good for a lot of different skin tones and definitely skin types. You can make it more subtle, or you can build it up more. You can use your fingers too. It's just a great, great product. I'm super into creams lately. I've been doing a lot of cream content. So I figured I would use some creams in this video so you can see things in action and how I do it. I'm just going to pat out the rest of my under eyes here. I like my fingers under my eyes and then I'm going to take this sponge. I wiped any remaining like bronzer, there's nothing on here. <laughs> Sometimes if I do have a little of the leftover bronzer though I will bring it up the sides of my nose. Because I do wear a lighter concealer, I don't want there to look like a huge difference between the two. So I'm going to pat all over my under eyes, any excess product. Then for my cheeks, I'm going to use this from Flower Beauty. It is their uh, Blush Balm in Melon. And this I'm just going to pat with my fingertips. I literally just patted that on my cheek and realized I didn't even look at the mirror, I don't think, when I was doing that. And I was like, oops, it's a little, a little lower than I expected. <laughs> just like, I can do it. Not without a mirror, so it, uh... And then you know how much I've been loving this from e.l.f., the monochromatic multi-stick. This is in um, Glowing Mango. This really is so pretty. It's warm and orangey, but glowy. And these cream products are going to help with the longevity of my makeup, I find, for my skin anyways. I find they help with the brightness. Uh, you don't need to put powders over this either. I mean, honestly, I feel like I could just, should I just leave it like this? This looks really good. <laughs> That's what I mean about this foundation is like, if you have a drier skin, you definitely don't need to powder. I'm more normal right now and I'm even debating uh, no powder, which is nuts. Now to powder my face, I definitely want to keep things light. So on my under eyes, I'm going to be using this Essence Brighten Up Powder, just like a lightweight kind of banana. It's a little bit, um, it's a little bit lighter in color. I normally like a little more depth and banana-ness, but it's good super affordable option. And then to keep things um, really lightweight on my skin, I'm gonna use the Glossier Wouter. Because this, um, this foundation doesn't require much setting and I wanna keep things looking natural and I'm not super oily right now, this is a really, really good combo. Just kind of setting everything else in place and keeping it light. Now let me bring you in for my eyes. We're gonna go minty today. It's actually a good opportunity to get a look at the skin. I was sent this a little while back, the Rimmel Wonder Cloud in this minty color, and then I bought this Natasha Denona palette that has mint in it. So I'm taking just the brown shadow in this palette, which I'm noticing on my skin because I just changed brushes, brushes twice thinking my brushes were dirty. <laughs> It's this shade that here, just called Balance, but it looks red purple under my on my eyes. It doesn't look brown. Take a little bit of my bronzer maybe. Just benefit caramel. I'm not looking to get like color. I just want a little bit of uh, well I guess I am looking for color, but just like a little bit of depth to put down before I go down with such a light mint shade. So I just want like a neutrally brown to add like of dimension I guess not freaking pulling purple browns are tough sometimes on my skin I feel like they don't look brown they can look gray or purple it has to do with the undertone and the formula but that one on its own oh kind of a mint chocolate chip thing going I don't know how minty this is gonna stay but I wanted it just as a base I'm going to take this shade called breathe is it yeah breathe Pretty. I don't think I've ever worn mint green eyeshadow and I know the first time I ever wore neon green or like a chartreuse green I was like wow this is my favorite color ever so let's try something new today you never know I don't want it to be um, my whole lid even just something more like coming out of the inner corner and then diffused and with this type of thing you want to pat and lightly put, like kind of push-pull, because otherwise you'll swipe it away. 
I think I'm gonna bring it into my inner corner a little. And for my lashes today, I'm gonna use my one of my current favorite mascaras. There's actually a bunch of great ones out right now, but um, this is the Big Mood from e.l.f. And they came out with a mascara last year that I really liked, but this one's even better. Got a little in my inner corner there, but here's what it looks like. Just touching up a little bit of that mint because I lost some in mascara. The little gold from this uh, modern Dreamers palette. And that's going to be my inner corner because it's a gold, but it's got a bit of greeny in it. Okay, back to the bronzer that I used on my eyes, Hoola Caramel, which is one of their deeper shades. I'm going to use that just to add even more bronziness to my skin. I was going to go liner today. I have not been wearing black liner at all. It's not that I don't like the look, it's just like I'm just, I go to do it and I'm like, oh, never mind. Never mind. Put these brows in place. Just had the thought, I'm like, is it late to be doing this kind of summery makeup? And I'm like, no. It's still summer, Samantha. <laughs> still be bright. To keep things a little bit more minimal, uh, this is um, Bare, Bare Minerals Gen Nude Bronzer, which is their blush and bronzer. It's very hard for me to say. I'm going to use it like a blush and highlight, however, because to me it's kind of like that. It's more of a blush and highlight mixed together. This is in the shade Kiss of Rose beautiful glow and a little bit of color in there. Set everything before I do my lip with the Makeup Forever Light Velvet Air. Anyone else have too much stuff and you have like a good one and a bad one of things? Because I have so many of these ColourPop lip liners uh, in BFF3, but this is like a dud one that's all messy, there's no lid, can't even see the liner, so I'm going to sharpen it. But I've got a couple of like good ones and a couple of wonk ones hanging around <laughs> and we got a wonk one we got a live wonk one but she still works just needed a little assistance right now still not working you can do it please it's like if i'm so integral to your makeup routine samantha why don't you have a lid on me why aren't i sharpened and ready i don't know lip liner <laughs> that would make sense you're right you're right, I'm wrong. For my lips, I'm gonna do something nude. I really like this from uh, CoverGirl. It's in Tempting Toffee. It's quite nude, but not in like a concealer way. And then a little gloss. I love this gloss for putting over like nude things. It's from Cheekbone Beauty, their Canadian brand. Um, and this is in the shade Sundance. And I think they've like reformulated some of their stuff. This one exactly may not be available, but so here is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to check out the Clinique Even Better Clinical Foundation. I will of course have it linked down below. And as always, if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!